your uh, get your drink off there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jess. Zero, I just had you on the. Oh. Jess. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah, stand up here. Let me say, honey. Oh, you look good. You look good. All right, let's. What's up? I'm just I got to do one so I can get it. I like to have one just laying there. Uh, go for uh, the delicious before we. Yeah. Yeah. Not now, you don't care. The director. Where are we going to place these kids? They're hiding from the yeah. spaghetti. And we can put the spaghetti uh, closer to us. Or hey, Chris. I told you to move it away from us. Or what's this? Could, would they better standing on that side? Well, I'm thinking like, um, couldn't they do like they did before, like they were getting it the uh, spaghetti and then putting it on the rack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, Kate. Yeah. 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 Work. Stand yeah. Side with exactly. Put so this moment at the rack. rack. So you can do the rack. And yeah, Jess too. Come on, Jess. Yeah. You want to do the rack? Take the spaghetti, and put it on the rack. Okay, come on. No, come, come around here. Come around here. All right, stand right here next to Grandfather. Put, put, put your uh, oh, it's all right. grandpa. I just came over here. Are you guys, grandpa, okay, yeah, okay right. Katie, you gotta stand. You gotta stand back like this, all right? Because we have to see grandpa. We have to see you, all right? And just, just, come, just come in. Each of you gotta get a turn, okay? The lean. Okay, so could the press people just step, take <laughs> a step back? John, all right. It's always the pushy type, you know. They're like yeah. salesmen. Kids gotta come in just a little bit tighter. Yeah. All right. Kayla, stand next to Grandpa. Either that or uh, let me move the camera, maybe a little bit. A little more to the left. Okay. We're gonna move the Smile. Smile. Hey. I'm gonna try to tighten up the shots. Come in behind. Come in behind. Smile, Jess. Come in behind, Katie. Come on. There you go. Look, there she is, the actress. Look at her. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Who's that? Hold on. Look at me. Back a little bit. Now, what do you think? Yeah. All right, now wait. Put your brother's here. I'm going to be right twisted. On. Move up around here like around grandfather. And, and you're, you're uh, <laughs> got to stop it. Stop this side. Huh? Stop that yeah, it looks really good, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Move the shards a little bit. Huh? Yeah, look, make hey. it look crowded. Can I pull this back? Okay. No room. So in Yeah, you guys should have um, those nets over top of your heads. <laughs> I don't want any hair in my food. All right, in the plastic uh, gloves. I don't want plastic gloves on your hands. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where all the OSHA rigs. <laughs> Come on, Sarah, give those rolls more feeling. Come on. Yeah, you get the whole bag up there, so it just looks yeah. big. It looks like uh, we're full. Okay, yeah. I need you out of <laughs> the bag is better. Mm -hmm. I know it is there, but it's, yeah, right, it, right. visually, right. there's only so many images that can come into a screen. All right, there All you right. go. Now the camera's upset. I broke his. Not <laughs> so a film. Rewind. You need more film. It's not a problem. You need music. It might be a problem. How about some Italian opera in the background? <laughs> huh? We'll do that later. Herbal. Now, that's good. Okay, what do you got in your hands? Why don't you put that down for a minute? Yeah, put it, put it down for a minute. You can I have to do a minute, put it right here. I'll give it right back to you after the movie. You can help grandfather. You're going to be on the movie in a minute. You're going to be on TV in the movie. What? This is going on TV. This is going on TV when we're done with this. I get some phones here on my head. Yeah, see your face, Katie. Car. Audio, folks. All right, good morning, everybody. No. Hey, listen, everybody stand by. You can, now, is this supposed to be, and you can learn a few things. Wait, wait, is this supposed to be morning or afternoon? We're in the afternoon. We're on real time? Yes, it's real, real time. time. Okay, we're on it's, afternoon it's time. It's cinema verite, that's what they well, call it. Okay. All right. Look at that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And Kayla, girl. And Katie, girl. Okay. Oh, just do me a favor, girls. You can do anything you want. Just stay, just stay, stay a, no. Do Come to close to your grandfather, but I want to see... We see, see this if you block it, if you stand here, you block the machine, and then I can't see the machine. So you just gotta stand a little bit to the side. You can you bunch and drift over here and put a finger on this because this blind. Step in, step in, Katie. Step in. Okay. Right. And Dad, even let him. Dad, even let him turn the thing if they can. No. Well, you gonna stop the machine every once in a while, so you tell right. me what you want me to do. Right. We'll switch and let uh, Katie turn. 
Jesse can turn. Don't forget you turn this away, okay? Try try for a minute. Turn it. Add a guard. Okay, go ahead. You can mark this wide shot, scene one. Add a guard. All right. Take one. Or just put a W. Since we don't have our shots laid in. Ah, look at this pretty smile. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That smile. Okay. Anything to hold this? I like that court man, he's pretty good. Yeah, no, he's good. <laughs> can it be assistant? Can it be assistant? Are we ready to go? Yeah, can it be assistant? Okay, let's wait for, yes. let's wait for yeah. the airplane to pass. Okay. Here. All right, let's so the first, I'll tell you, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, uh, just describe how, how you're making spaghetti, what you're doing. Can you talk, Louise? You're going to do some talking? I'll just, we'll both jump in. Do you want some well, just say, what, you, you start with why we're out here. It was a here. nice fall day, and we decided to come outside okay. to do the pasta today. And our grandchildren help give us a hand. Yeah. All, right. All right, you should do that for Hi. All right. Okay. You want to listen to the phone on the phones? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to look and listen. Uh, wait, wait, Dave, wait, Dave, 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 relax. Okay. We'll tell you when. We're ready to go. Camera's rolling. All right, wide shot one. Take one. Take one. Good afternoon. We decided that we would make the pasta this afternoon. Uh, outside just to take advantage of the beautiful autumn weather. Normally we make it inside, but today we're going to uh, do it outside. We've gathered the grandchildren around us and we're already in the process of making pasta. The uh, dough is already prepared, so we're going to uh, slice it and form it. And as you can see here, it's already in uh, uh, sheets ready to go through the uh, automatic cutter and out it'll come a spaghetti, which you see all over there. We've already prepared some uh, some ahead of time. So we simply form the dough and run it through the machine and actually knead it. Okay, uh, Katie, go ahead, turn it for us. We like to get the grandchildren involved so that they pick up the same traditions that we had. That's how we learned our parents taught us and uh, we're trying to teach them. You have to put a little bit of flour on it to keep the dough from sticking. That's, and you use your hands. It's all hand work. There's a, no problem with using the hands. And excuse me, honey. And then we run it through again. And you do it two or three times until it comes to the right thickness. And then. All right, you got that. Okay. What we need to do is that uh, kids don't. Don't pretend we're not the camera. Yeah, don't look, don't look at us. One thing. Look at you're, you're watching, watching uh, Grandpa do his job. We're going to start from the beginning now? <laughs> I, although you got all smiley faces, that looks good, but you, you can't be looking back at it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you got to look, 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 look at Grandfather and Grandma. Don't look at look the past, look at what he's doing. Watch what he's doing. Pretend you're watching. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Start over? Yeah, we're going to start from the top. Let's take it from the top. Less spaghetti, more kids. Okay, this will take two. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it. Don't start yet. I forgot where I, where I got to start. I was doing all right doing that. Yeah, you're doing real good. Uh, the dough wasn't cut yet. It was all in one big ball. Okay. Well, we got some here. That's we got all. Right. You can just, that's we right. can just use another one. Just, just go where you're okay. from. Okay. Okay. Just saying, okay, here, you don't have to uh, look either. Oh, yeah. And then the, in frame, we have to move that hand. Who? Uh, yeah, the, our grip. Uh, How's that now? Okay. Still see the hand in the top corner of that. Yeah, Dad, don't forget, you gotta start, you know, maybe introduce Mom. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> and your lovely bride. Yeah, you know, use that. Well, frame. wait a minute, I have to be, uh. Where's the script at? Ready? Is that hard for you? Because there's a hook yeah, right up Dave, there. Yeah, you want to put it up on we the hook? We can stab it on that hook. On the hook there. The electrician will come in. <laughs> I got some gap tape. You want to take it up there? Does that mean my jaw has been eliminated? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no, automated. No, you mean it hasn't kicked in yet? No, you're not going to be able to do that yet. Uh, pushing it out? No. Like that? No. It might be oh, hold on. All right. Let me know. David, if you just re rest an elbow, yeah, rest an elbow on there. Like it'll this? be uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. Let me that take a look. Okay, you're not in frame now. You have a problem with that, Dave? 
Am I in the picture now, John? No, you're not. Okay. Well, Katie's going to do it again, and then you have your turn. I did. I think it would be better maybe talk to me in this direction. Look at him now. What do you think? Uh, okay, so he's not looking at the camera. Right. Okay, he could be talking to the kids, too. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you be talking to the kids and show them how to do it? Like okay. you're showing the kids. And we're just... Yeah, well, should I just start with good afternoon and no, then, no, 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 nothing at all. Nothing at all. Start in the okay, middle. Okay, kids, now we're going to make some pasta. Grandchildren, not kids. So, yeah? Yeah. Right. Grandchildren. We're going to stop, right? Do you want to say, like, we have eight children or six six children, eight grandchildren? Or are we tell the camera, is it some of our grandchildren or just a demonstration? Um, you want to do it that way? Okay. Okay. That's and, uh, our frame, okay, everybody's happy. And remember, yeah. just look at Grandpa. Don't look yep. at us over here, please. What? Okay. okay, this is two. Camera's rolling. And Mark. Hi, kids. This afternoon, Grandmother and Grandfather are going to show you how to make uh, pasta. Okay? And see, we have the dough already made. And then we're going to, we have to cut it. And then we form it. And then we let you. Okay, Katie, this is one of the grandchildren. Katie, go ahead and roll it. Add it, girl. And see, see what happens. It comes to the thickness. And then we have to put some flour on it. Katie, this is what your dad used to do when he was little, too. And your dad. And Jesse. Doesn't? Jessica, this is what your mom used to do and make Jessica? spaghetti with grandfather. How about if you give it a turn, too? Very good. Okay, we got to cut. Uh, that the neighbor back oh, was really bad. Sounds in there. The neighbor sounds really bad. Who? I didn't even hear it. I know. You can hear it on the sound. It was bad. That sensitive? Yeah. yeah. If Mrs. Sweeney comes out, it'll be ruined. She's <laughs> <laughs> the mortadella. All right. Take it again. Okay. okay. All right. Three. Do it you again. can really hear that? that? Yeah. yeah. All right. We have to do it again because one of the neighbors was talking and, and they heard that on the. That you're just you're a little self conscious. Just relax it as if we're not. Well, I, was, I, I get more self conscious as I go along. I know. Just relax. Okay. Yeah, but I need a drink. Three. And more. Yeah. We need a drink. Slide on the set. Children, today we're going to show you how to make pasta. Okay. And see, we already have the dough already made. Uh, I made the dough ahead of time, and grandmother and I both made it, and you cut the dough into little slices and fold it out, and we put some flour on it, and then Katie, you want to start with the first pass through. This We're going to knead the dough, and look how thin it got, but that's not quite right yet. We're going to fold it again, we're going to put flour on it, and Kayla, this time it's your turn to turn. Je Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> this is what your mom used to do, Jessica. Yes. Kayla, you want to turn too? Huh? You want to learn how to make spaghetti? You might as well I learn. I bet you thought you spaghetti came age. in a box, right? Huh? Okay, Katie, you want to turn it again? Okay, now see, I've prepared some dough ahead of time, and this is ready to make the spaghetti. Now we have to move it up to put it to the correct roller. All right, who's holding the stick? All right. Who's Katie, hold you go me? hold the stick. All right. Can I do this? And Jessica, you do the turning. Here we are. Go ahead. Hold on to it, Katie. Get it underneath. Add it, girl. Wait, wait. Hold on a minute. There we are. Go ahead. And look. Very there good. they are. Very All good. done. We've made spaghetti. All we have to do now is cook them and eat them. How about that? And we'll add it here to the rest of our spaghetti that we already have made. And then we'll make another cutting of spaghetti. How about Put that? Right here. Okay. And Kayla, do you want to have a turn too? All right. Get a line. Go here. And this needs a little bit of flour. And you use your hands. You're allowed to just. You're allowed to use Put your up. hands. This is uh. Can I use my hand? That's right. You can touch it. Can I do it? All right, go ahead. No, no I do this. One. You want to do that yeah. part? All right, Katie, you do that part. Just have to keep it here so it comes down. There we are. And go like. And just pull it out. I know. 
Hang on to it. Look at that. Hang on to it. It's all done. How about that? We have Hurry made back. pasta. Yay. We've made homemade spaghetti. And we'll add this to all the one we have. You mix you messed up. Very good. That's it? Wanna do some more? Yeah, that's it? Yeah. Okay. I think we've killed that. We want to get in and get all the cut in right now. Right. Um well, Alright Katie. Katie and Jessica. Alright, Katie and Jessica, here is the pasta. It's ready now. Katie, you're gonna roll it and we're gonna change the thickness of it. Go ahead, we're gonna we're gonna knead it down so it comes to the right thickness, and then we can make the Okay, we spaghetti. need to uh, get uh, Sarah to bend down a little bit more when he does this, and this little girl here needs to take one, one quarter step back. That's it, Jim. And that's his bar right there. How's that? And uh, I need you to duck down just a little bit more. Went. That's. Yeah. That might be a little awkward. Here, yeah. let me try something else. Can I have another roll? No, no, no. <laughs> you can't. You can't say anything now. We're on. We're on camera. Okay. How about there? I can eat one on camera. Is that okay? Hey. Yeah, the record. Is that okay? Yeah, that is. Okay. All right. Okay. We're ready. All right, children. Ready? All right, children. Here's the uh, here's the pasta, and we've got it to a thicker thickness than we need it. So we're going to run it through the rollers and knead it. All right, uh, Katie, will you roll it for me, please? She just did it. Then you're going to do it next. Okay, Jessica, you do it now. Go ahead, Jess. Very good. And see, it's coming to the right thickness, and we're ready to make uh, run it through the rollers here, and okay. we can cut it, and then out it will come as spaghetti. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. And, uh, can we do it one more time? Yeah, we can do it right as you want to. Okay, we need you to step back just a little bit more this way, so we can see her face. So see yeah, her wait face a minute. Is being blocked. Let's try it again. We got to see all the faces, right, Sarah? Mm-hmm. Mom, why don't you get into it? I will. Don't worry. Ready? This is just a cover shot. Say when. Well, they're talking. Okay. Stay still, Jessica. There we go. Hey, take a baby step forward. Who? There you go. Me? Perfect. Okay, children. This is the pasta, and we've rolled it before, but it's too thick now to make spaghetti. So we have to knead it some more, and we're going to run it through the rollers. All right. Katie, would you do the rolling? And then Jessica... You'll do it the second time. All right. Okay, now, Jessica, you help, too. And there we go. Start running it. Atta girl. Okay. Now, see? It comes to the right thickness, and then we're going to run it through these rollers, and out it will come as spaghetti. Okay? He's going to run through here. We're going to run it through here. All right. Ready? Is that good? Mm-hmm. Cut. Yeah. Great. Oh, man, we got a bee in here. Got, got another in here. one. Now, uh, this Kayla is going the part turn. where we were, uh, we were taking the spaghetti out with the, uh... Yeah. Oh, Kayla can have a turn, too. Sure, why not? No, I just, while we were between oh, things, oh, 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 so okay. that she thinks she's... Yeah, okay, go ahead, Kayla. Fine. Your turn next, Kayla. Your turn. Go ahead, Kayla. Can we get right, the spaghetti coming off next. Okay. Oh, my God, look at her do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is great. Going. This is great. <laughs> look. You Ready did it. Go. Very good. Good girl. Okay, come okay. on. Let's go back to your spot now. Places, everybody. Places. <laughs> That's it. That's what they say in the business. Taking it off. We're you want to do it in here now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. With right, them uh, with a the dowel? Yeah, with a dowel. Well, uh -huh. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to get the right, right dowel. Uh, it's not run through. It's not, it's not run through correctly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. We, got, we got to fix the problem. We got to do the uh, okay. rolling. We never really saw how the machine works. Here, let me. Why don't you do it again? Bring your head in the frame just a little bit. Right about. Do it again. Right about there. Yeah. Good. Right there. Good. Ready? Mm-hmm. Look how long it is. Look at that. Look how long. Can we get Kayla? the kids to do it one more time? Sure. All right. Kayla, you want to go through that? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's a big piece, Go ahead, Kayla. Kayla. That's a big piece. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing fine. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going. That a girl, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. A little bit more, and it'll be ready for spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, look how beautiful. Very good. Let's see everybody. Here, give me a uh, one. Mm -hmm. Feed it. The monitor. All the agents in the all all the agents in the back here have to watch. Everybody see? Ready? Faces? Dad, come down a little bit. Bend yeah, he, yeah, he will when he gets back. All right, there you go. All right, Jessica. Now this is at the right thickness, and I'm gonna put it on the cutters. All right, turn it, honey. Turn. Atta girl. And there's our spaghetti, all done, all ready. Okay, it's ready for the pot and for the dish. And now we're gonna do another one, okay? Ready, Jesse? Oh, yep. Yeah. What do you want? I'm about to cut it. Yeah. Hmm? That's okay. Just keep going, Dad, okay. bend down and do it. Okay, now this is at the right thickness for the spaghetti. I'm gonna put it on the roller, on the cutter. All right, Jesse, you turn, and Katie will gather, all right. That a girl. That's perfect. Oh, look what we've done. Keep going. That a girl. Look what we've done. Look, there's our spaghetti. Ready for the pot. How you like that? Beautiful. How you like that? Huh? Okay, now we're just gonna roll it slightly to keep it right on the yeah, roller. The and there we are. Oh, all don't done. Be good in the pot. Ready for the pot. pot won't know any different. What about this? Well huh? leave it alone. Okay. We'll just let it dry. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Um, how are families, how are Italian families different today than uh, they were when you were growing up? <laughs> you want to try? Sure. Five words or less. <laughs> <laughs> we're becoming more Americanized. We're becoming I mean, more, uh, we're part of the melting pot. Yeah. And in many cases, or our traditions are getting lost. Um, as we get a little bit further from our immigrant parents. Can I do that? Dad should be looking at the machine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Dad, look at the machine, Mom. How do you like Just that? Yeah, but look at the yeah, look at the machine okay. when you're talking. Yeah, you're instead of talking to Ciro, you're talking just talking uh, like the kids are all paying attention to you, like okay, you're talking, we'll talking to the kids. Yeah. All right, fine. I think it would be great. I right, try one. Or oh, you want it spontaneous? Yeah, and, and the machine. Look like you just working and yeah, all right. We're and talking talk. and working. And get a knife and, and I fix think John, you might want to just pull back just a bit. Wait, don't do that, Jess, because then when the machines, when we start here, we got all the heads. Right. That's about as best we're going to do. Unless we do the whole gear. Right. Is that okay? Can I do? Is that good? You just keep looking uh, at me and pay attention, like what you're doing. I don't want. Can I? And then maybe I'll let you turn one. Maybe. Oh, don't no, don't do this. Don't touch it. That's food. I don't want that to do it. We have to do it over and over again because till we get it, it right. Till we get How's it that? right, we're not getting it. Because right. the cameramen are not maybe getting it right here. Okay. Yeah, I know. Kayla, <clears throat> Kayla, I want to get everybody. It's not us, kids. It's this camera. Be a little stretch. That's what you say. A little bit more. Can I have some of that food? Yeah, we're going to have it in a few yeah, minutes. We're going to have lunch. Yeah, we're going to have lunch. I'm sorry. You don't want to go too far away. All right, David. And if you ever need a job, you'll be an extra. Extra, I don't know, but I have to agree with you there. Extra something. Okay, we ready? Yeah, let's uh, wait a minute, hang on for a second. All right, Mom, I'm gonna ask your first question. I'm gonna say, what was it like when you were growing up? Well, you want me to answer the first other question? How are we getting a little further? I like that answer. All right, well, good. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna ask you about what was it like when you were growing up. Okay. What would you do? Okay, we're rolling. Um. Which one, which one you Mama, what? what was it like when you were growing up? Like, what kind of things did you do? With well, your parents I, it was. Uh, my father was a, an immigrant, and he was a stonemason. But uh, during the depression, he changed jobs and became a mushroom grower. So we moved from. We got an elbow. From, uh, so he moved from the city. Oh. So just come, uh, you can actually we'll come, come up mama. closer to here. How about this way? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I don't see it. Start again. Right. Start again? Uh, here's, what the, yeah. here's the way to open. Uh, so, hey, hey, you know, kids, my, my dad was a... Okay. Rather than drawing okay. stars. Okay. You're talking to the kids. 
Okay. Um, no, she's talking to it's it's me and it's, I think it's more me interviewing. No, no, he's right. You talk to the kids. He's right. trying to teach the kids. Yeah, right. You know what they're teaching the kids is the whole concept, right? That's is, it. It, is that it? Uh, no, that's not. That's it. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Jesse, come out now. Huh? Jesse, you want to quit? Just, just let her start when I was. I just want to yeah. get. Go ahead. No, go ahead. But you can't get something to eat. Wait, you you can't. She's gonna change a little while. Yeah, go ahead, Jess. Why? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Still gonna be in the. Yeah. Yeah, you're still on. I'm hoping to. Right here, you turn. You turn. I'll yeah. hold it. Ready? I'll be one up yeah, there. Yeah, we're right. That'd be nicer. You be turning. Okay. And then I'll scoot Mom, you. Mom, just mm -hmm. just turn this slow. Don't turn it. Mom, what was it like? Uh, like when you were growing up, what would you do with your family and such? Uh, well, my father Sorry had. Again, uh, please. Sorry. Do you want me? Do you want me to start from the beginning when I yeah. when I started from the, the yeah, whole exactly. question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From the top. Ready? Ready. Roll. Mom, what was it like uh, when you were growing up, uh, like with your parents and stuff? Well, uh, my father was a, a mushroom grower, but that's not what he started out to be. He was, when he immigrated from Italy, he was a stonemason, but during the Depression, he moved from the city to the country and became a stonemason, um, a mushroom grower. And, um, so it was um, it was really neat. Um, we uh, we grew all our own food, which was kind of nice. We had chickens, so we had meat uh, during the war. And um, I used to help sometimes in the mushroom house. Everything was uh, manually done, so I used to stand on a manure pile and water it while he turned it, and all good things like that. But. Uh, it was it was kind of neat. No TV, so um, there was a one movie in the little town where we lived, and they changed the movie three times a week. So we had one movie on Monday and Tuesday, one on Wednesday and Thursday, and then a different one for Friday and Saturday. And my father and I usually managed for a whole quarter to see at least two movies a week. That's we didn't have, uh, like I said, TV. Um, and it was it 25 was, cents for each movie. Right. right. So it was uh, uh, unusual because I was an only child, so we had, uh, for an Italian family, to be that small, but we were very close. And uh, we had extended family. My grandmother lived with us for a time. And uh, my aunts and uncle lived close by, so it was really a, a good upbringing. And, uh, Dad, what was it like when you were growing up? What would you do? Well, we lived in the city, and it was during the war. There wasn't a whole lot we could do. We'd listen to the news. The, uh, my father and his cousins would gather around, mm -hmm. and they'd tell stories about Italy every night. And um, yeah, we'd go... Yeah, start over again because the, we had the kids uh, talk. Yeah, okay. That's okay. They can talk. No, well, sorry, yeah, but it'll kill the... Uh, no, that's, that's, that's what I want. That's just be natural. We should, we'll start, start again. Go even go if it if you, even if it blurs your speech a little bit, that's okay. Sure? Yes. Don't that's don't okay. look at Cyril. Look at the pasta and the machine and stuff. Like like yeah. you're talking to him, but you don't look at him. Katie, can she don't do a little bit? Don't look at him. Look at what you're doing and talk. Okay. Look at mom it's and look at you can look at the people. Okay. It's alright. There's no there's no tension. Uh, ready? You want to start? Yeah. Start again. Okay. Hang on. Wait a second. Let me get on here. I got to get a different view because uh, I'm going to start it in here and then I'll bring it out to there. Because I can't start. Unless we start at the top. But let's, let's do it this way. Go ahead. Okay, Dad, what was it like uh, when you were growing up? What are the types of things you would do? Well, it was during the war. There wasn't much we could do. And uh, my father and his uh, cousins. Uh, they would all gather at our house, and my father made homemade wine, and they would um, drink the wine in the evening, and they sit and talk about Italy and how things were going and the war, and they talked about politics, and they talked about economics, but mostly it was about their, their uh, boyhood experiences in Italy, and a lot of it was romanticized because, like my father, when he was 17, he arrived here, so he didn't have much of a teenage uh, period of growing up in Italy. And they would think about what happened in Italy and how they grew up, and they would talk. Uh, we always spoke Italian at home, so it was the uh, native Italian was constantly spoke, and they would tell stories about uh, growing up. So 
So we kind of uh, vicariously uh, had the Italian experience of growing up in Italy. Okay, well, let's do it again. Can we? Yeah. We'll do what again? Uh, All those good words? Uh, don't yeah, look at me, Dad. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look, look at the machine. Look, look at the machine. machine. Look what, pay attention when you're done. Pay doing attention what you're doing. I know. Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right. We're ready. Okay, well, I know. Dave, you're getting tired, huh? Why? Do that <laughs> yeah, but Dave, David, because he's lower now. Yeah, but David, wait till you get your when you get your credit, David, on on film, it'll all be worth it. Dave, you need to stand in, huh? You need to stand in where you're. I'm the second grip here. Um, Dave, yeah, look at your machine and um, be a little more active. No, yeah, exactly. But that was really good. And then I'm gonna after I say that, I'm gonna follow up. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna follow up with how come the cellar? Like when we see all these the films are always in the cellar. Okay. We're always around a table. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. And our, your table uh, happened to be in the cellar because it was yeah, uh, street level. So. No, because we had the wine down there and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait, now I got. I, I'm. I'm. You, you people okay. are my props. I'm the main actor here. <laughs> <laughs> You're supporting actors. <laughs> you, you get. A and we're rolling. Okay, Dad. What was it like um, when you were growing up? Well, it was during the war, so there wasn't much to do, and. Every night, uh, my father and his cousins and... Yeah, uh, cut, cut. That's right. Okay. Do you want to get back into it, Jess? No, you can't, you can't talk, though. No, no, no talk. No, be quiet, Jess. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, why don't you hold it in here? Why don't you come over and turn? No, she wants to hold it. No. She wants to Just, put it through. Jess, you can't talk. You're going to be here. I'll, I'll hand it to you and you put it through. You can go sit on the bench. That'll be a good start. I'll hand it to you now. She can go sit on the bench. She can't eat, though. She'll be here. Huh? It's my talk. I'll do like this. Look. Go, like go upstairs, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Go upstairs, Jeff. Okay? Till you're done eating. Okay, leave it there. Leave it there. Yeah, gotta be quiet. Don't talk. Nothing. No, I'll hand you because I'm doing the movement. Okay. I'm sorry. You ready again, Jeff? Okay, um, sure you want to duck in a little bit? There you go. That's good right there. I'll take a three shot. And rolling. Okay, Dad, what was it like uh, when you were growing up? Well, it was during the war. And my father and uh, his cousins and his relatives would always gather at our house every evening, and they talked about uh, their growing up as teenagers in Italy. Because when my father arrived here as an immigrant, he was only 17 years old, and so were his cousins, even younger. My mother was 14. And they would talk, and of course, they always spoke Italian. We always spoke Italian in our home. And they would tell their boyhood uh, stories and uh, growing up as teenagers. So vicariously we sort of uh, lived with them through their teenage years and uh, what they saw and how they reacted and uh, uh, they were able to transfer their ideas and their values and uh, how they grew up uh, to to uh, my brother and I and we'd always sit around and uh, the adults would drink wine we didn't didn't drink wine but uh, we were allowed to but uh, we didn't drink the wine and um, uh, they, they drink wine and socially and then maybe around nine o'clock uh, they'd all go home uh, they listened to uh, some of the political commenta uh, commentaries. Uh, Low Thomas uh, was their favorite, and they listened to Low Thomas or Edward R. Murrow broadcast from the war, and then they'd comment on that, and they'd have some uh, commentaries and discussions and stories. And uh, were they talking Italian? Or? They always spoke Italian, and um, and we all understood Italian, and we all spoke Italian in the home, um, and maybe around Christmas time. Uh, or around the holidays, my mother would make some special baked goods, and they might share, if we could get it during the war, maybe some, uh, you know, fruits or nuts, whatever they could get during the war. Uh, then in the summertime, we would grow some things, but, um, you know, the wintertime seemed to be the longest, and they got bleakest, so that, uh, that that's what life was like. And uh, how about, like, if you see any of those old, old films that we have, everybody's, like, running down into the cellar and sitting around a table in the cellar eating stuff. How did that... I mean, why the cellar? Why not, like, the living well, room? Well, in our house, the cellar was a favorite place uh, to be in because, um, well, the wine was kept in the cellar. The, uh, the cellar was the coolest part of the house. So you kept the wine down there, and uh, you had all your pickled products and uh, uh, different uh, things that you would uh, uh, can during the summertime. Our tomatoes were kept down there in, in the jars for, for making spaghetti. And it was a good place to socialize. And... Uh, our cousins and all in our house sort of treated as like a little clubhouse. Uh, they'd go down the cellar, they'd get next to the barrel of wine, they'd talk, they'd discuss. It was like a social uh, gathering uh, rather than uh, the upstairs. And the upstairs kitchen was kept uh, really for preparation of food. And that was life was like.
And it was a throwback because sometimes you even see in the colonial uh, houses, they had a basement cellar, a uh, basement kitchen, and they socialized in the basement, and they had the upstairs uh, for your, your uh, general living. That's a piece of cutting. Uh, Good, okay. Instead of being at this angle, we need to get another angle. Right. Because it's awful long on the shot. So I'll be right about where Ciro is. We had one screen in the middle. That's all right. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. 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 falls in there. So I'm just doing the same thing. Yeah, we can edit that out, I'm sure. This is probably dead, so. Okay. All right, all right. So I'll be like this. I'm going to hand it to you, and then you run through, and and we'll show the grandchildren learn. Hmm? Well, i got to stand here showing you. Can we blow a breaker? Yes. Trip and breaker. What happened? Yeah, we knocked the fuse out. Your fuse or my fuse? Uh, your fuse. Unless somebody turned the lights off. Somebody turn that outlet off. Here? Yeah. No, no, it can't. It's a continuous circuit. Okay, we're rolling. How's that? Can I look at the camera? Okay, back up a little bit. Okay, back yeah, up a little bit. There you go. Back up a little bit. Keep going back. No, not, no, not no. that way. Towards, Towards grandma. Towards the grandmother. There you go. Want me to come down a hair? Yeah. Can yeah. we come down a little bit? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Dad, look. Dad, look at the camera. Look at the camera. How's that? Okay, Kayla, you have to be quiet now. Okay. Okay, look at the camera, Dad. Uh, okay. Uh, that if you look at the uh, old pictures and such uh, that we have, it seems like the everybody's always congregating in the cellar. How come? How come? Like your family was always in the cellar, either eating or you know talking, telling stories and stuff like that. Well, the cellar was somehow the uh, center of uh, all activity in the house, and actually. Uh, in, in the cellar, we had a, uh, we kept the wine in the cellar, we kept, uh, we had a table, we had all our uh, uh, canning, the, the tomatoes that we had uh, canned during the summer uh, were all there, and, and my, my mother and my brother and my father would all help and pitch in, uh, we'd all help to make the wine, uh, and all the, uh, uh, the pickled products that we had were always in the basement. We had a table, and it became something like a club. My father and his uh, friends would sit down, and, and his cousins would sit around the table down there, and, and they'd get uh, some wine, and they'd talk, and they'd exchange old ideas, and uh, growing up in Italy, and uh, they, they talked mostly about their teenage years. Uh, there was a certain sadness, because they had come over here as young teenagers. They had never really had a teenage life. Uh, my mother came over at 14. My father was 17, and uh, Louise's parents were in their teens. So they didn't grow up. So they, they sort of vicariously lived out their teenage years, and uh, they all spoke Italian. We always spoke Italian at home. And they tell stories about what it was like in Italy and how things were and their boyhood remembrances. But the, center, uh, uh, the, the gathering place for all that was always in our cellar. And uh, we, we had a sink, and we had a, a refrigerator, and we had a stove, and, uh, because our canning was done down there. And we had all sorts of uh, facilities to make wine in the wine cellar. And uh, that was the center of... Uh, of our experience in the home. Super. Cut. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Now, um, I think, think that'll work for us. Very good. Yeah. Look, would this look good here? Just drop. Yeah. That should be it. Okay, why don't you just be picking and we'll, we'll do a voiceover later. That's great. Alright, like that? That's about all we can get. It's two shots of us picking. And we'll show them all the things we have. And we'll have a zucchini. And we'll look down here for a minute. There's a radic from uh, Northern Italy. Radicchio from Northern Italy. The seeds came from Italy. From Northern Italy. What's that? Uh, what's the Radicchio? Right the Radicchio are there. Go on. Uh, this, this, is, uh, We're gonna get on. this is a. This is from. Um, this is uh, called. It's going to seed now, but it's uh, it's a green from Northern Italy. The seeds came from Northern Italy. It's a type of Radicchio that we use for salad. And over here is Italian parsley. We have Italian parsley. Basil's in the and background. We have basil. 
These are all seasonings. Every Italian garden. Every Italian garden has a fig tree. Figs are a, a really um, a fruit that Italian uh, really love. They uh, eat a lot of figs, so every Italian. But it, it's, uh, I mean, it goes way back. The Jesuits brought figs when they came to. Uh, uh, you yeah, know, since the Roman times, at least. Don't touch it. Uh, every Italian uh, garden has a fig tree. Figs are Mediterranean. It's, they're used in all Mediterranean uh, cooking. Uh, they, they're really uh, one of the oldest fruits known to man. They were in the Garden of Eden. So <laughs> it's an old thing. Um, we also have a grape arbor. We no longer use our grape arbor to make uh, wine, but some people still do. Our grapes have all been picked and made into grape jelly. And we always, uh, we always invoke the saints and uh, Jesus to help us with our crops. Okay, go over, over to uh, do this one more time. You get <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, hang on for a second. It's a typical Italian, you bring the saints out protect our crops. We always uh, ask God and the saints to protect our crops. Good, and okay. Now where are we going? No, you, you stop and tell me where we're going. <laughs> That's it. Stop That's all right, let's all go back and then we'll just take a, we'll just take a big tour. What are all these things here? Oregano. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's, let's go back to this top and we'll take a just walk with us. We'll take a little tour of our garden. All right, everybody, watch the wire. Watch the right. yeah. Look out, Joe. You know, watch the. Uh, He's gonna get hung up in the. I just want to ask you how come they enjoy, why, why they enjoy gardens? Why they enjoy gardening so much? It's in our blood, because we came from the soil. We're, we're, we're farmers. We're... Uh, okay. Yeah, right. why don't you, you can get over this way. Uh, let's get here, let's get here this way. Look, this, is look. Different, uh, this is a different shot. This is a different shot here. Right now, how the figs... Uh, you can block this where the flowers are kind of dead. <laughs> and I'll take a shot. Here you have here. All right, what's the question? You ready? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Go ahead. I still have uh, plants that my father had okay, in his let's, garden. Let's do it again. Uh, uh -huh. Mike was coming in. All right. I still have some plants that my father had in his garden. Uh, we always had a japonica bush, which is this uh, flowering tree here. And uh, I try to uh, keep up some of the old traditions that way, having some of the things that my father grew. And we had day lilies that uh, Louise's mother gave to us. And we still have them. We still grow them, and we've got to pass them on to our children. So every place they go, they'll bring those day lilies that we got from our parents. But we're people of the soil. My father was uh, really a farmer uh, and a person of the soil. He worked in the fields uh, until he came to America. And, and my cousins and uncles, they were all uh, worked in the fields. They were farmers. They really were not the farmer as far as the owner. They, they were workers. They were uh, what we called the uh, contadinas which is the workers in the field. Huh. Good. That's great, huh? Yeah, it was good. You show me your shaft? We get the audio? Oh. She doesn't want Chris, am I in the scene now? Can you yes. see me? Yes, Okay, yeah, yeah. that's all. And you gotta pull right. into them, right, John? I'm gonna walk her right in, and this is the game plan, the action right there. Okay. Good. Okay, Kirk. Are we rolling? Hi, Dad. Camera's rolling. Mm -hmm. You have to be quiet now, Des. Shh. Alright, Dad, look at me. Smile. Alright, up here a little bit. Okay, good. Alright. Ready? Roll. Um, Mom and Dad, why do you think um, Italian families, uh, how are they kind of different than other families? What makes a family Italian? Well, Italian families, uh, there's a long tradition of the family spirit and uh, uh, family life is very, very important to the Italian culture, as well as other uh, Mediterranean cultures, but especially in the Italian family. 
and everything that seems to happen happens in the context of uh, around a table, around a meal, uh, eating, joy, singing, um, community, and um, Italian families stick together. Uh, when the chips are down, uh, your family members come through. What do you think, Mom? I think I think that's really true. If if uh, everything else goes wrong, you can always come back to your family. They're always here for you, and. Uh, and oh. they're always optimistic. There's, uh, Italians are not too pessimistic. They're very optimistic. There's always a lot of uh, fun and joy. A big cut. Sorry. That's all right. That's, that's, it was a bad yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. All right, can we try and take sure. everything from the top? From the top. Okay. Jesse, Sorry, Jesse, you gotta be don't squint as much, huh? Just be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, we ready? All right, look yeah. over here, Dad's mom. Baby. Right here. <laughs> okay. You can hear the background. You gotta go all the way upstairs. All right, Chris, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fill in here. Uh, actually, you can't see them. Okay. But Beth, don't move. That's it, Beth. No, no, move, Beth, because no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, in fact, so she's. I want her. Side the side of her head. Yeah. Piece of head. Yeah. 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 How do you think that Italian families are sort of different than other families? I mean, how, when you say a family, how can you say that's an Italian family? Well, um, Italian families have a close sense of community, and um, it, it's a tradition. The, the, the Italian, uh, in the Italian culture, the family is very, very strong. It, it's a Mediterranean trait, but it's also uh, uh, very pronounced in the Italian family, and things that happen uh, usually happen in the context of a meal, and they happen in the context of uh, of a table, and, and things that uh, you know. Italian families are always in the kitchen. They're eating. They're together. There's community. They're having fun. There's a lot of joy. And uh, when the chips are down, uh, your family comes through. You can always rely on your own family. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, I think that's really true. I think when all else fails, uh, an Italian knows that he can always come back to his family, and they'll be there for him. And um, they're, they're really uh, not a pessimistic people, very optimistic, and they'll, they'll always make you feel better about every, you know, whatever it is that, that happened to you or uh, anything in life. Their, their family's there, and uh, I think that's really true. And um, of all the things about your heritage, about being Italian-American, what do you think uh, you would like uh, your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren to carry on of everything? Well, since our grandchildren are not all Italian, I, I, uh, I really want them to uh, remember all their heritages, but also their Italian heritage and everything that Italian-Americans have contributed to America as a whole. I'd like them to remember uh, the folk Tales of the Italian culture okay, and the traditions. Is it, is it loud? <coughs> <coughs> okay, we're yeah, happy. Five, You're not happy. Four, it's mild. Three, <laughs> this is serious work. <laughs> um, of, uh, You're asking oh, your mom. Yeah, right. Okay. Mom, of all the, um, all the things in Italian American heritage, what would you like your uh, grandchildren, your great grandchildren, your great great grandchildren to, uh, to carry on? Well, since our uh, great our grandchildren um, are not all Italian, uh, none of them are. Um, I want them to uh, remember all their heritages, but in the Italian heritage, uh, I want them to remember all the contributions that Italian Americans have done to have made to our society, to the American society. I also want them to remember Italian traditions. Uh, of course, our religion, and uh, also Italian, uh, the folk tales, the uh, old stories that 
uh, our grandparents and parents told us. The uh, tales of uh, optimism and uh, doing your best and things like that. Right. What do you think, Dan? Um, off the off the camera. <laughs> Are you gonna change? Yeah, we can change. Okay. <laughs> We're rolling. Um, what about you, Dad? What would you like your grandchildren to carry on? Um, I think the Italian traditions, the uh, joy of living, that's characteristic, uh, uh, an appreciation and a sensitivity to family life and their brothers and sisters, and uh, kind of sitting around a table and sharing, and uh, the, the camaraderie and friendship and uh, family love that comes from sharing. Good. Sounds good. Yeah. Actually worked out into a few sound bites. Okay. Did uh, did you want to hit your mom up one more time? We'll have her look at the camera. Uh, as, any, as far as what? We don't have any dead on shot. Okay. Be nice to have one. What are you going to ask me first? She uh, can think about it. Bit. Have you ever been in Italy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we went there. We, there specialty dishes. Dishes. Cooking. Well, you were talking about treats. Right. What about cooking? What about some of mom's um, special cooking? You know, uh, your, your cooking is legendary in these parts. Uh, what's some of your famous things you like to cook? Or is it admiration of uh, character? No, I'm not she was in She was into that really good. The things, the qualities that she admired. Right. Maybe we can just hit another quality and pop it in. I consider it loyal, trustworthy. <laughs> right. No, I think, uh, I think, uh, why don't you talk about... You know what I would like to hear is like, you, religion, you said that was a big part of your life when you were growing up. I mean, did your parents really impress on you, like the way you've impressed it on us? Did they? Or? Yeah. Well, well you have to look this way. Yeah, why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. And okay. Just tell me what I'm wrong. Wait a minute, I'll be nice about how we take care of the extended family. like. Your grandmother lived with you, and then and then the uh, your mother-in-law, which was the grandchildren, lived with us, and you know that that's good. That, that's like uh, yeah, that's a universal theme, taking care of the old people. Yeah. yeah. We went in. The Chinese did it, so we can do it. <laughs> Politically correct. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. How much you like to talk about? Mom. Yeah. I uh, our, our, our uh, Chris, I want you to go in. Yeah. Higher, 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 higher. Right about there. Chris, go in and turn my paste off. I'll do it. You stay. Yeah. We still don't have a good question. I can read it and get into that. You don't start the question. You start talking. You just as you pretend you're just start talking. What do you want how to about, about? How about of all your careers? You've had a number of careers. No, that's not Italian. Italians <laughs> don't work. Period. Just think about Italian retired. The greatest thing an Italian can do is be retired. What he create? What he did was he was not relative. I'm so rolling, yeah. But we need to do something, guys. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, it was religion. Uh, just start in the middle. Yeah, religion was a great part of our life. Just start right there. And we'll pick it right up on the camera. All right. Without a question. Go ahead. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Uh, Mom, why don't you talk about uh, why don't you talk about each of us? Hmm. Your your lovely six. Yeah, children. yeah. Why don't you talk about your children? <laughs> children. We're so proud of them. <laughs> six children. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a good question. I like okay. that one. Okay. What? Ready, wait, John? Wait, what? What's the question? Question is, uh, how did you come up with uh, the names for each of us? Well, that oh, that's right? a great question. That's it. How, that's a great question. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. Ready, wrong, wrong Roll. Okay. Mom, Mom uh, you had uh, you have six children. Uh, how did you kind of come up with the names for all of them? Well, um, it, it's, it, the names are based in, in Italian tradition and in uh, family tradition um, and also in our religious tradition because the first uh, girl was named uh, Regina Maria, which is the Blessed Mother's uh, main title, Queen. Regina means queen. It's a very Italian name. Uh, and uh, Maria 
uh, for Mary, for the Blessed Mother. Our second son was named um, after um, St. Joseph, the Blessed Mother's husband, uh, and St. Gerard, who is the patron saint of mothers. Uh, the third one is named after me, and I was named after my mother and, and my father. My name was uh, Louise Christine. Uh, our third daughter is Louisa Catherine, which was my grandmother's name. Um, our uh, second son, fourth child, it's, uh, my, has, since I was an only child, um, my father had no heir, so my fourth child has my father's whole name, his first name and last name, Christopher Primus. And um, then our fifth daughter is uh, named after uh, St. Jane de Chantel. And um, then Ciro is named after my husband, who was also named after his father. So our sixth and last child, our third son, is named Ciro <laughs> the third. And uh, so it, it's a, a mixture. It's a mixture of religion. Uh, Italian tradition and family. So all three things rolled into one. Perfect. Good. That's good. That's good. great. That's great, great, Louise. We applaud you. That's good. That's Academy. That's Academy Award. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay. Roll that back right here. That one. We're around here. You're, yeah. We're picking up the sounds of you even crushing the... Even, even crushing the... the Jesse, napkin. get That's out. all right. No, but don't blame me. That's okay. That's no, okay. Just, that's a little bit... It's a, we'll cut that out. Yeah, <laughs> we'll cut that all out. We think you we'll we'll take that out. Okay. okay. Now, uh, can I...
Go ahead. Let's go. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
Because if you, when you're nice to people, they're going to be nice to you. I had a guy bring me some tomatoes even. <laughs> brought me some tomatoes. He said, hey, Mario, you like tomatoes? I said, yeah. Brought me a whole bag of tomatoes. <laughs> Put them in my car and off. He shakes my hand every Sunday when we leave, see? And I enjoyed it. Okay, let's get back to work. <laughs> okay, good. Now, the place is right where you were. Okay. Right. We had a car horn. Yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah. yeah. How, How soon is it? Gonna do? Do? You're going to ask that question again. How did you get into this? Okay, we're going to just do it again. All right. Are you okay, okay, going to dig it over my shoulder or his shoulder? First, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm lo looking at you because okay. you asked the question. Okay. Ready? Rolling. Mario, you know, I always wanted to ask you, yeah. how did you get started? You've been doing it 46 years. How well, did you get started? A guy by the name of Kennedy. Right, Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, right. His daughter was a nun here one time, see? Uh -huh. And one Sunday, he didn't have the way to help him. He said, Mario, how about give me a hand here? And I was sitting in the back of the church. I said, I was a little shaky, but I got up and I did it. You were nervous? I was, yeah. Well, how come you were nervous? First time, you know, I prayed the fast basket. So, <laughs> well, once I got the hang of it, to go to the left, to go to the right, then I... I liked it. Right. So I've been doing it ever since. So they give me a key. <laughs> now I, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Now, let me get on this side. All right. All right. And oh, I got okay. Okay. Uh, can we you answer? Can, if you want, can you can read me with, uh, with this mic. Okay. Let's see. Ladies. Okay, we ready? Ready. Roll. Yeah, we're going to stop because they're going to have to pass through here. All right. Watch you, what are they doing? We're taking a movie, a picture, you know. Do you know me? Do you remember me? My name is Ciro Papati. My mother used to be. What are you doing? My mother used to be librarian. It's my brother, Chris. Hi. How are you doing? How you been? I've been all right. What are you doing now? Making movies with my cousin Mario. Oh. And you're finished with school? Uh, well, I'm, I'm in law school right now. Where? Uh, Columbia, New York. Oh, good. I haven't seen your mother lately. How are the girls? Fine? Yeah? How are you? She's over the way. How come? All right, roll it. Mario, you know, I, uh, I always wanted to ask you. Uh, You've been doing it 46 years. How'd you get started? Well, a guy by the name of Kennedy. Yeah, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, asked me, Mr. Kennedy asked me to help him out. Okay. One day, I got a little shaky at first. I didn't want to go. Come on, you can do it. You were, you were nervous? That. Yeah. Why were you nervous? I don't know. I was, which way to pass the basket? Who the hit it? <laughs> <laughs> but I learned, and that's right. how I'm here so long. When I found out I knew so much, they give me the keys. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, they won't take them back, huh? No. <laughs> I'll take you back when you they bury you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how, many, how many weeks in 46 years have you missed? I missed three Sundays. Three Sundays? How yeah. come? Sick. You were sick? Pneumonia. And uh, the doctor wouldn't let you out? No, he says you're staying in. He wouldn't even let me go to work. Did you want to come? Oh, yeah. But what, I was afraid to miss my, miss to open the church. There ain't going to be nobody up there open the church. Hey. I just had in my mind that I want to open the church. That's it. Right. And uh, it seems but like... But they think I'm crazy, huh? But I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I meet all nice people. Right. Then after that, we go out for breakfast. Right. Hey. And uh, I noticed that, like, all the people that come to 6 o'clock Mass... They know you. It's kind of like a little family. Right. Very sociable. They're right. all nice people. And they come from different parishes to different see Different parishes come here, yeah. They figure it's an early mass, get out early. And you have the rest of the day? And then they go down to the restaurant and eat. <laughs> I meet all these people at the restaurant, too, when I go out there and eat. There was 20 people out there all over the 6 o'clock mass right. went out there to eat. To, uh, to have breakfast? Yeah, that. have breakfast. And they ever bring any gifts or anything like that? Oh, yeah. I got tomatoes. I got a whole bag of tomatoes. They give me tomatoes, yeah. So, how, nice. how, how long are you going to keep doing it? Hey, till the Lord takes me. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk. Well, that's my job. I want to do it. But my family don't like it. Because they don't get nowhere on Sundays. You know, they don't want to get up. It's too early for them. Right. But when I was a milkman, I was up at 1 o'clock in the morning. I used to go to church. If I miss mass, the boss says, go down to church. I'll pay you when you come back. You're going to go there first. Then you come to work here. So he was a strict Catholic. Right. So that's how I see him. Kept going on, see. Kept me, he earned me more by doing that. It became a habit. That's right. Hmm. Okay.
Good. Get the, get the old line. Right. <laughs> you ready? Roll. Thanks, Mario. Come on, we're going to be late for mass. All right. Let's go. 46 years, huh? Yep. You ever take a vacation or anything? You too. <laughs> I get stuck. <laughs> Yeah, what are we supposed to do? What's, what's the... Uh, huh? This is here. Oh. All right. This is group. We're rolling. Okay. Do you ever talk ever? <laughs> okay, this is my family. This is my dad, Ciro. It's my sister, Jane. It's my brother, Chris. It's my brother, Joe. Oldest, oldest brother. brother. It's my sister, Beth. It's my brother, Dave. And this is uh, my nephew who just got baptized today, Jeremy. It's my sister, Lorraine, my niece, Kayla. Can't see Kayla. Roland. This is my sister, Beth. This is my brother, Dave. This is my nephew who was baptized today, Jeremy. This is my sister, Lorraine. This is my niece, Kayla. And this is the matriarch, my mother, Louise. Good. Uh, I'm going to tell my mom. Uh, now we're rolling. This is my nephew, Jeremy. He was baptized today, and I became the godfather. Great. OK. <laughs> Are we taking this? No problem. We'll, we'll give him back. Joe, you want some of this? No. We need somebody in the back playing boxy ball. <laughs> <laughs>
How we you change doing? back yeah. into yeah. work clothes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank Real you. Nice. Wow. What kind of cookie? <laughs> you eat? A good cookie, huh? Tiny cookie. Hey, what is it? Fan, put the mic down a little bit. The cuddle loop. Huh? Then you don't have jeans on. That's, that's, a, we got that's an Italian cookie. Wait a minute. Huh? Say Tuttleooch. Can Zero. you say Tuttleooch? Zero. Zero. Out of the way. Oh, Robin. You're Kayla. still in the picture. Mommy put the icing on them and the well, sprinkles. Is that not Dave? Don't get it. No. Last night. <laughs> is it good? Hey, 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 hey. Out of the picture. Come on. Okay, turn this way. Out of the way. No. No. Come on. <laughs> hey. Good. Uh, okay, we're rolling. Okay, this is my first cousin, Laura. Do you smile? Yeah. Okay. I can't see this from the right. top. This is my cousin, Laura. Okay. How's that? Okay. Right. Hey, Laura, why don't you say something? Instead yeah. of just looking at kind of sticking in mud. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you. All right. Yeah. It's, that would be good. Just say, um, ask her what school she's going right. to or something like okay. that. Uh, I heard. And we we understand you speak Italian. So you can say, uh, good morning or good day in a time. Okay. Right. Right. okay, go ahead. From the top. Okay. This get that, mic. Get that mic in right underneath it, right around Sarah's belly. It's prodigious. prodigious and then turn it off. Uh, as a target. That's it. Go. This is my cousin, Laura. Buongiorno. And uh, Laura, what productions? I, she's a budding actress in the family. What productions are you in? I'm going to be in The Wizard of Oz at the Delaware Children's Theater and in the Phantom Toll booth at Opera Delaware. Super. All right. How that was work? that? Five, four, three, two. This is my Uncle Anthony, uh, the uh, my uh, mentor in many ways. <laughs> very kind of you. And many careers. Of many, uh, Uncle, how many degrees do you have from various institutions and colleges? Uh, about four or so. Who knows how many. <laughs> you have a, what, a doctorate I, in? In law. I have a master's degree from the University of Delaware in education. And I have a uh, degree in science from Niagara University. And a degree in theology from... Uh, the Angelicum in Rome. So, got a few. <laughs> so you can wallpaper a yeah, side of a wall. Yeah, That's yeah. That's good. <laughs> that and a cup of coffee, you know, 25 cents will buy a cup of coffee, something like that. So, okay. Yeah, great. That's it. <laughs> good. Good, how are, how are you? Good, rolling. Okay, this is my Uncle Mike. Um, Uncle Mike, you know, uh, nicknames are a big part of our family. Yes. Why, why do Italians tend to have a lot of nicknames, like Chuchu Minucci or Mingus or Bachi or... Bozo. How come all the nicknames? How come all the nicknames? Well, a lot of them are due to the fact the way people behave, the way they look. Uh, they uh, they take their names and they, they bastardize them, you know, shorten them. And uh, as life goes on, a lot of those guys are only known by the nicknames. When they die, they don't dare put their real name in. Nobody knows who they are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> Great. What else do you want to know? That's it. Is that it? Yeah. Nice Good. to see okay. you both. Right, good to see you, Ted. Why the hell did you pick on me with nicknames? Oh, well, which one, Masha? Huh? That's which a one? good question, because I always got my Uncle Tommy, my Uncle Ernie's nicknames confused. Yeah. Tommy was Dirt. Dirt. And Ernie was Muckaloos, Nervy Ned. I always heard Alley Cat and Rabbit. Oh, yeah, and, and Muckaloos, <laughs> Nervy Ned. He, he, he'd spear you with a knife at the table. Who? Uh, who was Ernie? <laughs> Ernie. Ernie. Seriously? Oh, yeah. We used to do it He'd take the fork and he wanted to stab somebody. Very belligerent. But he's a very mild mannered guy. He was a plumber. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what were we supposed to do? Do you want to go together? Huh? Oh, you don't have to. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'll do separate. There we go. Oh, Let me get a free shot here. Okay. Tighten it up a little bit, folks. I'm tighten okay, it up. Tighten it up. Right. There we go. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're of the primus side of the family, That's right. right? That's right. Zero's mother and Walter are first cousins, so this brings on the other side and from a different place in Italy. Up <laughs> Northern in Italy. Northern, Northern, Northern Italy, region. yes. Yeah, so. just beautiful. That's my uncle, or my cousin, or. Cousin, uh, yeah, cousin, I've screwed that up. Okay, hold on. Yeah. It's my cousin Walter and my cousin Isabel, right. and um, they're from Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. That's right. And uh, kind of a connection with my mother, how you two met. 
Why don't you tell us? How you and my mother met? How, how, how you we, guys how met? How we met? Yeah. Over a Chinese checker game. <laughs> <laughs> now, Walter used to come down to Kennett Square to visit his Aunt Louise in Kennett. And we lived in the area. We had a little farm. And on the farm, we had a cow and eggs. And his mother used to, his aunt rather, would buy the milk and the eggs from us. So that's how we. I was the milkman. Yeah, we got I to meet. I would go down and get and the milk and go back. And, and I was there. like 12 and he was 13, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't see each other for a long time. And then one time uh, I wrote him a, uh, this is kind of funny, I wrote him a card from the beach and I'll never forget, I said to my cousin, well, here goes nothing. And I put the card in the, in the mailbox. And he answered and he said, when you're in Philadelphia, give me a call. So I did and from then on it took off. <laughs> How about that? 47 so now, years ago, last Tuesday we were married. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I've been nothing for 47 years. <laughs> there <nothing>. goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you and also we are godparents of Lorraine. Oh, so right, we yes. have a little special thing there. Special, okay. special time for that. Yeah. Is that all right? Super. Zero. Yeah, good Very luck. Good. By the good way, luck, we, uh, we're uh, keeping in the part about uh, that we did before about... Uh, the service? Oh, yeah, the service. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That was on the demo, and that's going to be on the final version, I think. Oh, too. Good. It was really neat. Nice. Okay, very good. good. Uh, we'll see you later. Okay. Zero? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Zero. He's my cousins, Hi, Jeff and Robin. And Jeff and Robin, why don't you introduce the kids? Well, this is Kimberly Rita, and that's Tyler Patrick. And that's Allison Kramer. Hi, Allison. And uh, Jeff is Isabel and Walter's son, the youngest the of the four boys. And uh, right, Tara, we're the babies. <laughs> that's we're the right. babies. We were married eight years ago and three children. And we, so you've been busy. We've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Robin, you're a nurse. Where? At Bryn Mawr Hospital. What type of uh, medicine? Oper I work in the operating room, and I also do home care nursing for a little boy who's ventilator dependent. Oh, okay. So. Stuff it's interesting. Yeah. Jobs. No, it's yeah. interesting. It's fun. It's fun. Plus, I'm a mom. Which <laughs> <laughs> it's my third job. <laughs> so, and we're busy, but we're we're happy and. Look. What? You know, clap your no, hands. we didn't burp. So. <laughs> and Jeff, uh, you're a financial analyst downtown. Yeah, financial manager, okay. financial accounting manager, oh. WSFS. Start it over again. Okay. Question. Like and Jeff, that. you're a uh, financial analyst downtown. Uh, financial accounting manager for WSFS. The uh, alternate radio station, no, the bank I downtown. Have, <laughs> excuse me, I so, have a loose super. tooth. Oh, and Kimmy has a loose tooth. She's about ready and to I, lose it. And I went on a big airplane trip with, to Texas with my mommy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You did? Yeah. Went to visit uh, Tom. Tom's down in San Antonio, Texas. So, uh, my brother. Okay. Hi. Hi. All right. Super. All right. I guess. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 And, and when you went back to Italy, what was it like? Oh, it was just, uh, I come from a small family, and they, aside from my parents and brothers, they don't really keep connected with cousins and aunts and uncles, so this has just been absolutely wonderful. And going over to Italy and people's hospitality and just, just, just terrific. Super. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The whole family. This is a group shot. Come on, everybody in. Charlotte, Philip, come on, Philip. Come here, Phil. Phil, come here. Is this the last picture? Come here, Phil. Yeah. Put your arm around. Cute kid. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, tighten it up, guys. Uh, okay. What do you want me to say? <laughs> well, that's your question. Uh, How long have you been married? It's, it's not going to be a good answer. <laughs> Phil, what's the matter? You want to get down? You want to, uh, hey, I'll hold him. All right. Come here. Can you do their names, please? Okay. Yeah. Wait. As our... oh, sorry. What? Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Can we pull in? Can we pull in? Tighten it up. Look up, Sarah. Don't be shy. I hate TV. I can't the camera's off. Everybody looks happy and smiling. Okay. Okay, we're rolling. Okay. 
All right, this is my sister Regina and my brother Joe, and this is their family, Sarah, Samantha, Philip, and Charlotte. And um, how long have you guys been married? We've been married 11 years. Did you ever think you had four kids? No, Did you ever never. think you could supervise four kids at one time? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be supervised by four kids at one time. We're supervised. And uh, did you guys have a good time at church today? Mm, yeah. Huh? What yeah. about you, Sarah? Yeah. Sarah, I hear you like your CCD class. Yeah. Was it a lot of fun? Yeah. Okay. He gives out a lot of candy. <laughs> oh, the best thing about church is when Jessica was playing in the holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica was playing, playing in the, in the holy, holy water, water in the font. <laughs> She jumped the rocks inside. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take a dip every now and then. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's super. Great. Okay. Now we need a family portrait. All right. You're also we're still here. Can we do yeah. this? Huh? Can we do this? Come here, Jess. Oh, okay. Jess, you're the only one who didn't get in. And Katie, where's Katie? Katie, hold on. Dad, send Katie out here. Sir. Jess, Jess, come here. No, that's all right. Keep it on. That's good. It's easy to get down a little bit here. Yeah. Sir. Gotta get down where the kids are. Come on in. Come in like this. That looks good. Okay, this is my niece Jessica, and this is my niece Katie. And Katie, how far did you come to this party today? Um, so, I don't, I'm not sure. From where? Where, where do you live now? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Butler? Mm -hmm. And Jessica, where do you live? Massachusetts. Massachusetts? And did you have a good time today? Yeah. I heard you were playing in the holy water at church. Was that right? Was it a lot of fun? Okay. Did you go swimming in it? Did you go um, swimming in the wood? I have... climbed on the, the little rock and it tipped over. <laughs> That's good. But they'd like to see you again there. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, did you, what school did you start this year? Montessori. Montessori? What are they having you do in Montessori? Mm. Count numbers? Yeah. Uh, sass the teacher? No, they don't sass the teacher, do you? Okay. That's great. <laughs> yeah, we're all looking. Underneath? Underneath, yeah. You got yeah. Over You're here. Kidding, right? No, then all the I can see his hands. I can't see anything. No, okay. Yeah, fake this way. Okay, uh, this is the Poppity family. We're trying to get a family portrait together. Um, a lot of kids have moved away, and they've moved back in the neighborhood recently. My, my brother just moved back to Butler, Pennsylvania, so it's, today is my nephew's baptism, and it's a good opportunity to get the whole family together and take a picture. Well, let's bring him in again. And Philip. I can't see him. How you doing, bud? Go ahead. Okay, this is Ciro Poppity reporting live from the Poppity compound. Right over here, we're trying to get a family portrait together, all the family together to take a picture. Uh, today, my nephew was being baptized, and it's the first time in a couple of years that the whole family has been able to get together because uh, of traversing great distances. So here we are today. I want to stand in the back. Dave, Dave, Dave. Dave with the baby. And then put Joe and, and put Beth next to him. Put Joe and my Katie. Oh, see, that looks good so far, don't you think? Yeah, we're going to get plenty of the way out to where Jane is. Okay. Jane, be in our food here. Okay? Wait, I like your hair. Wait a second. Somebody's going to have to hold you. You two are going to have to stand here. <laughs> no, let him stay. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. All right, come over here. Right, Sam, you come here, and Joe, come right behind you. Okay. okay. Is everybody here? Is that right? <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Is there, is there the ring, you have us? lipstick right there. Come on, Oh, look, it's going to yeah. Hello, Peg. Come here. Hi. Now. Everybody's here, huh? Yeah. Jane, is it off? Did you bring your yeah, camera? Turn this way. And look. Everybody. Is this just mm -hmm. advanced, Lauren? Yep. Stay right where you are. Go ahead. Sammy, don't lean on me, okay? Go, girl. Everybody's here. 
they say something. Oh no. Money. How do we look here? Beautiful. Good. Oh, it looks good? Yeah. Especially Jeremy. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> He's gonna change. Take a few. Keep keep taking them. Just, just keep just keep snapping. Just keep firing. Just keep firing it. There he goes. Live from New York. Okay, that's enough old mine. Keep going mine. Keep going mine. Chris, that's enough. Hey, I'm no, sweating up. Not. You got them duplicated, Chris. Keep going. You really all look beautiful. Hey. <laughs> We're not changing the phone. Right, that's good. Right. No, that's, that's good. Right. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Is that good for you? Get this mine. Hold on. Keep going. Just keep going. Come on. Keep going. Can we move around a little bit? You want to switch the camera? No, no. Uh, like what? Yeah, this is great. Can you pull that out? Thanks, Jerry. Can you put the baby on it? Can you see Katie? Hold on. Can you see Katie? Carmen can walk right in the back if you wish she's inside the front. Hey, can you see Katie? Can you see Katie? Yes. How good? How are you? If Kayla went over in front of Jane, we'll have Jesse. How are you doing? My way. Here you go. That's better.